where the colors belong. You go drive the bus and I'll sit where I please. What? You go drive the bus and I'll sit where I please. Regulations forbid segregation on any army transportation. And what are you, some kind of nigger attorney or I'm something? I'm a serving officer in the United States Army. Well, I don't give a hot damn. Now, this is my bus and it carries its niggers in the rear. You heard me the first time. I'm not moving from the seat. You know the regulations as well as I do, so go drive the bus! Well, I guess I know my regulations. Oh, if the nigger thinks he can sit anywhere he pleases, I'll show him. I know my regulations. Regulations or no regulations, no nigga's gonna come down here and tell me how to run my bus. Nigger, you in big, big trouble now, boy. Call me nigger again, and I'll break you in two. Captain! We got the nigger lieutenant outside, sir.
Units from the bus depot got word from the supervisor. They brought him in. Here he is. All right, Sergeant, bring him in. Come on. When I went out to meet the Jeep, sir, this here boy insulted me to my face. That's not what happened. Robinson, you interrupt Sergeant McElroy one more time, I'll lock you up myself. All right, go on. Then he threatened to kill me, sir. Right there in front of MP headquarters. My God, he's You dead. are a damn liar! Sir, that's not what happened. Sir, he called me a damn liar. And I'll call you a liar. I liar! Liar! You liar! Robinson, you can just consider yourself under arrest. Now, since you are an officer, how about you just go out and stand in the hallway till the assistant provost marshal arrives? seats about halfway down the aisle. Don't you know you have no right to be sitting in the wide section of the bus? As I was saying, we sat halfway down on the aisle. Bus driver got up, demanded that I move to the rear of the bus. Damn well he should have. It's the way it is in these parts. We have rules about where the niggers are supposed to sit. You don't know anything about rules. Sir, is this woman going to take my statement and make social commentary? Continue your story, Lieutenant. I informed the driver of regulations prohibiting racial segregation on Army property, which included his bus. He stopped the bus. Mrs. Jones and I were disembarking with the rest of the passengers. Long come the MPs. That makes no sense. It made plenty of sense if you stop interrupting me. I would not sit here and let him niggers ask me. Robinson, Miss Wharton's a lady. You may not address her that way. Look, I'm not going to have my patience tried by some uppity nigger. Damn it! This woman is a civilian. Are you going to question me or she? This is the South, boy. Custom and tradition die hard, and I'm not going to tolerate any rudeness that violates them. This interview is concluded. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I protest. You just did. You're excused, Lieutenant. 